China will stick with its prudent monetary policy stance to help stabilize the real economy and provide credit support for enterprises, according to the central bank. The PBOC's comments came after broad money supply, or M2, increased by 11.4% on a yearly basis in June. New Yuan loans grew 11.2% on a yearly basis, while RMB deposits rose 10.8% on a yearly basis to 251.05 trillion yuan. When COVID-19 resurged in some areas, people's preference for liquidity increased and willingness for investment declined. At the same time, the capital market saw big fluctuations and further reduced people's appetite for taking risks. Now that the COVID situation is improving, people's need for investment will increase and consumption will recover. The enterprises will also benefit from the central government's increasing credit support and tax reduction policies. The People's Bank has promised to optimize China's credit structure, particularly in key sectors like advanced manufacturing, high-tech industry and infrastructure projects. It's also responded to concerns about the risk of investment in rural banks. The number of high-risk financial institutes take up 7% of China's banking system, but their assets cover only 1% of the financial system. That means the majority of small and medium-sized banks are in safe margin. As COVID situation improves, China's economy has also started to rebound. China's central bank has also promised to continue leveraging a set of financial tools to support enterprises and help stabilize China's macroeconomy.